welcome to Western Academy's YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be talking about the new recruitment opportunity, which has been released by State Pollution Control Board of Odisha. And uh, the vacancies have been released for Assistant Environmental Engineer, Group B position. So what we can do is we can click on the download option and we can see eight page notification, which has been released by State Pollution Control of Odisha. Now recruitment is for the position of assistant environmental engineer in group B of SPC board Odisha and uh, number of job vacancies as you can see 2, 4, 9, 10 vacancies have been released and they have mentioned the qualification details also uh, for the streams which is required. So bachelor's in engineering and BTEC or BTEC or from open. The students from civil engineering, chem chemical engineering, computer science, IT, mining, engineering, uh, mechanical uh, engineering, electronics and instrumentation engineering and environmental engineering students can apply. Candidates with additional qualification like MTech, MPhil or PhD experience in uh, and experience in relevant field of pollution control will be given preference during the selection process. So if you are uh, with a uh, extra degree then also you'll be eligible that doesn't mean the fr um, the freshers out of the college are not apl applicable over here they are applicable but again preference will be given to the those who have higher education or experience right and uh, uh, whatever the bifurcation of the categories well, uh, is there it is as per the state norms now the selection criteria is laid down on the basis of the provisions of the recruitment and conditions of service of the employees of the SPC Board Odisha Regulation 2011. Now, and the decision will be taken in 130th meeting of the board. Uh, this was taken in the 130th meeting of the board held on 29th of February 2024. All candidates must have secured 50% marks in their qualifying examination. And uh, qualifying examination for the candidates applying for assisted environmental engineer position, uh, section A and B in the following streams. Uh, shall be there. So there will be two sections in the qualifying exam and they will be from the following uh, fields as I told you previously. No person shall be eligible for the appointment if he or she is not able to write or speak Odia language. So if you uh, have good command over the Odia language then it will be uh, good and must have will be what passed you, you must have passed matriculation or uh, uh, equivalent examination with Odia as a medium of examination in non-language subject, right? So passed in Odia as a language subject in final examination of class 7th from a school or education institution recognized by the government of Odisha or passed the test in Odia in middle English um, school standard uh, conducted by the school and mass education department and application received by the post after due date is obviously rejected an application received from general category candidates against the reserve category post will be rejected again. Um, and uh, the candidates appearing for the qualifying exam of B, BTEC during the financial year 2024 need not apply. So final year students need not apply. Uh, only the qualified students can apply. Uh, how the recruitment uh, process will work? The career marks will be 30 marks, uh, whatever your education qualification is there. Corresponding to that, they will be marking you on base on a scale of 30. Written and skill test will be 50 marks. Experience, uh, three years and above, six marks additional will be given. Experience below three years, zero marks will be given. And higher qualification, four marks will be given. And interview, 10 marks. So preference is given to candidates with more experience and also higher education qualification if you have. Uh, higher qualification, maximum 4 marks for MPhil, MTech, PhD, uh, PhD, MPhil or MTech, you know, uh, maximum marks are 4. So if you have MTech, only 1 extra mark. If you have PhD, 3 extra marks. If you have MTech, MPhil or uh, PhD together, then 4 marks. If you have completed 3 years or above um, in your experience, then 6 marks extra will be given to you. Therefore. Here six marks is valid, right? Okay, so sorry, the air experience three years and above, it was six marks, sorry. Right, and below three years, zero marks extra will be given to you. Um, assigning marks against the work experience also, they have mentioned if you have 
uh, experience in any pollution control board maximum marks will be 6 and weightage uh, 1 will be given and maximum score will be uh, 6 environmental lab NABL accredited uh, again 6 1 and 6 it is given so maximum 6 and 0.5 will be teaching in a college or a university in a field of uh, pollution control then 0.5 uh, will be your minimum marks right now um, division degree BTEC 20 is the weightage uh, greater than 60 percent you'll be given 20 percent weightage if you have ISC or diploma 5 percent weightage 10 5 percent weightage total will be 30 percent weightage which is given to your education qualification right if it is between 5 and 60 percent 50 and 60 percent these will be your marks total can be maximum of 15. All applicants who have requisite qualification in the relevant field and secured more than qualifying marks will only be called for a written test. So your written test will be only for the qualified students uh, based upon your educational background and whatever the experience you have. The merit list will be prepared on the basis of career mark and marks obtained in the written test or online test and candidates will be called for interview in the ratio of 1 is to 5. So corresponding to one vacancy there will be five number of students will be shortlisted. Place of the examination will be in Odisha right to be more precise and the written examination will be held at different sectors fi fixed by the SPC board of Odisha and request for change of examination center will not be entertained at all whatever is the examination center has been chosen by the board you have to consider that right there are other qualifications as well you can see uh, you should have for your um, uh, caste certificates and everything you have you should have non objection certificate from your employer you should have that also um, must be citizen of india um, a candidate who has more than one spouse living uh, will not be eligible for appointment unless SPC board has exempted his or her case. Uh, after that, important points other than that, uh, online application submitted to the SPC board, if found to be incomplete, then again your uh, interview or shortlisting will be rejected. Admission to the examination or viva voce test will be provisional. Um, then again, if on verification on any stage before and after of the test, it is found that candidate does not fulfill any eligibility condition, you can obviously. So these are common for all the domains actually. Right? Concession meant for SCSTs by birth are admissible to the scheduled caste and scheduled types of Orisa only. So this is very important point over here that students who have category from Orisa state government only will be eligible as under the category other than that I guess they will be considered under unreserved category uh, right certificate and uh, documents to be attached again uh, your board certificate 10th class certificate B, B Tech uh, certificate and uh, <coughs> your mark list and everything passport size photograph your in service in service certificate if you are uh, you know currently working caste certificate also ODIA test pass certificate competent, from a competent authority permanent disability certificate discharge certificate in case of ex servicemen sports certificate non-objection certificate from competent authority any proof of identity um, and other than that uh, candidates com coming and belonging to SCST and SEBC category by birth are required to submit a copy of their relevant caste certificate so Everything regarding your class, uh, classification of the caste has been required, every, every certification is required. Grounds of rejection as I told you previously. Uh, now how to apply? You can go to the website opscboard.odisha.gov.in right? So you can go on this official website and then you can apply for the, uh, you can apply for this job notification. right? So this much is there in this particular notification, all the relevant things we have seen in the notification. So it's a good opportunity if you are a student from Odisha, it's a relevant opportunity for you and belonging to civil engineering background. It is one of the most prominent ones because environmental engineering is being followed by most of the civil engineers only. So um, it's a very good opportunity for you. Do apply for this and for further updates, please subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.